guys. All right. In this part, we're going to go do stuff. We got one more world to open. 45. We have 23 more than that. I could do math. Yeah, I'm just going to turn this on and yeah, rock some more. Let's rock some more puzzles. How about that? Let's see how well I do this. Hey, I got that first try. I could do this one. No. There. That one should go right there. See, this is a corner piece. There. It's showing us notes. The notes have gone. You know, there's actually a really clever way of doing a puzzle because the parts of the puzzle that you can, like, that will give you hints and are easier to see will disappear as it goes around. Basically, the longer you take to do the puzzle, the harder it is to do, or the more chances you have, but the less time you have. So if you're one of those people that sits around and waits for it forever, you probably have a good chance of doing the puzzle if it's difficult. Of course, these aren't really that difficult, but it um, still gives you a better chance. Other corner piece. And you. Yeah! Oh, that cave. Put it to give you challenge eight. So now the great one will show you the way. Ugh. I'd say that parts of this level coming up aren't as tricky as Hailfire Peaks, but it definitely does have its moments. And then there's the one thing. I don't even know what I'm gonna do for that. I might put all my attempts together with some music. Of course, I've probably already used Twiggles' Squizzle. Sorry, dude. Squiggles' music. And, um. In the Hailfire Peaks video, because the Hailfire Peaks mix he did was aw. or uh, cover he did was awesome. So. I'll probably have used it there already, but. I, uh. There's the last two notes for, uh, with, uh, hags and... Holy crap, a bubble! But, uh, if I need music there, I'll probably think of something. I mean, indeed, what? There's more challenges. Uh, I also have enough jiggies to attempt challenge. Shut up! Yeah, once again, there's there's a few places I could go, but you know I really want to just move on with the levels. I'm trying to do a, I'm, I'm doing a bunch of recordings here, trying to get as much in as I can because there won't be many opportunities for me to record in the future. I mean, I'm taking breaks in between so I can get my you know personality back up. But what about my personality? It's always up, and um, you know this is a very awkward shaped rock crevice, but um. Only if you think about it. Now, to get the last two notes on Isla Hags. Yes, we have 800 notes. That's amazing. I never asked. How is it giving a reflection of his back, exactly? No, really, look at that. How is he, how is he staring at his own ass? That's not how reflections work. Let's pop this up. That the bubble. Help! Help! Police! Ah! Okay, so never mind. Welcome to the most interesting world in the game, Cloud Cuckoo Land. This is well. Remember back in Super Mario 64, where I talked about a world that it was made of props. This is probably that world. It's like somebody thought up that. I mean, I mean, Rainbow Ride is pretty much a prop land, but this to me is what I think of when I think prop land. It's a proper prop land, and there's just a bunch of fun here. There's a lot of not so fun jiggies as well, but that's true of really anything. How are we up to four and a half minutes already? I have found a strange looking seed. Is it edible? I wouldn't eat it. 
definitely would not eat that. And now I have two of them. Okay. That's good at least. Wait, wait, there's another one. Ha ha, honeycomb. I think we actually have enough to go see Honeybee, but... Eh. I guess we could grab those and get sucked in by the giant flowers of death. What is Kazooie doing? Okay. Then run right over here and... Hello, Mr. Et. Don't have time to care. Bloing. Yeah. How did you do that? Never mind. We'll move on to a bit too when you find me. Alright, Mr. Fit. That's his name. He's an aardvark. He likes challenging people. A A R D V A R K. A A R D V A R K. Yeah. <sighs> it's kind of his thing. So good, now that we got that out of the way. We have two magic beans and a honeycomb. No jiggies yet. No notes yet, actually. Uh, that's true, we don't have any notes yet. Hey, those look familiar, don't they? When was the last time we saw those things? Hi, Zaba. Anyway. And if you look down here under this weird gelatin lake, you'll see a thing. It's a very numbery thing. As if it's number based. But how silly. It couldn't be number based. That would involve numbers. Uh. Whoa, that actually. I forgot about that. Okay, sure. Okay, so we got the number one. <laughs> we got that. Good that I figured that out. One. Super stash. I wonder what's inside the super stash. Does it seem obvious to anyone else? It's a shame, but the flower just had to die. What's that in the distance? I sense a great evil upon us. You! She's back. <sighs> what you got? What up? Hey, young man, I'm George Ice Cube, stuck up here at this perilous altitude. What happened, George? I was out walking on the bison side of Hellfire Peaks with my wife, Mildred. Ah, uh, yeah, when a huge blizzard came along and blew me away. Why not stay up here? Lovely view. I'm afraid of heights. Now, I reckon I'm above the icy side, so if you could just give a little push. Um... This doesn't seem safe at all. Sorry, George. Oh, God! No, wrong side. Tell Mildred I love her. Honestly, that's kind of sad. But Mildred did keep that stupid Jinjo hostage from us, so she had to die. Ah. Ah, stupid plant. I told you that I didn't have any more time for stuff like that. And when I say I don't have time, I mean it. Okay. So let's see what else we got down here. Globo! Mine! Okay, so now we have a Globo. That's good at least. I can't believe we're already in Cloud Cuckoo Land. That just... This will only be like part 35 or something. I, I remember... It, it just goes to show what a depth... I... It just... It goes to show what a difference the uh, unlimited time limit means... makes, because... I remember back in 2009 when uh, Nintendo Capri Sun was doing this. When he got to Cloud Cuckoo Land, he was on part 60 or 70... And it's like, I don't think the game should take that long to do, because, I mean, it's a decently long game, but it can be done quickly enough. It's like, I, I know people that, with the lack of time limit, have done Banjo-Kazooie in, like, eight parts. Why are you carrying a sausage? Yes, these things are kind of annoying. 
they don't stop being where they are. They just sort of keep coming. It's a little irritating. I want to check the water for notes because there's a sign down there. I don't want to forget any more notes like that one time in Terry Land. I think those times have passed because, I mean, we're kind of on the last real world here. I, I, I can't even fathom that, man. It's driving me crazy. It's like, how is that possible? I started this project, well, I started this project in May and it's taken too damn long as is. I hear the other Globo. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I can jump higher than I thought. Yeah, but those cash... The things... These things jumping around, just... You know, just bowl through them. They don't have much on you. They have practically nothing on you, actually. So... Up here we have the standard setup. Split up pads. And junk. Kazooie needs to go over here. In case you missed it, I certainly didn't. And hatch this thing. Wow, that's a rare Flotus Floatium creature, if I'm not mistaken. You are. Okay. There's two sets of notes in there for Banjo, that means there's ten notes in there. One note here. Here is the map. Wish I had a map. I wish I had an angel for one moment of time. I had an angel for one moment of... Oh. Let's, let's do a little bit of exploring here. Huh, we found Mumbo. That's pretty cool, because we got a Jiggy already and stuff. But actually, since there's a flight pad over here, I may as well do something to, uh... Someone's in the air! Defend your Jiggy at all costs! Okay, so those things have a Jiggy. Good to know. Thanks, Grunty. Okay, so over here is a trash can only Kazooie can get to. Only. And in here... You can actually make it so you can fire the clockwork egg and bounce into the bottle that it's in. But, yeah, you know... They provide that. I may as well use it since it's actually simpler. But it is kind of cool to uh, make even more use of the uh, ridiculousness of the clockwork eggs. And if you press this with Kazooie... Yeah! Now for an unusual challenge. Well, kind of unusual. Fatty snack jocks. Ah! Is that what you needed? Ah, crap. Okay, I need to conserve those. Because if you hadn't noticed, I do sort of need them. Speedy, I wonder if these things are actual, like... English things. But is this the mil is this the milk? No, that's sugar. Uh, I'd also like to point out that this is Jolly's juice. Um great. Damn it! Okay, I should conserve those. Since I need wait a minute. I really want to get that Jinjo, because that's the last blue Jinjo we need. So I want to try, at least. And taking advantage of silly mechanics is the best way to win. There we go. Oh, we still need one more. Really? I don't know how you're... Wait. Uh, I think you could try and make it up there. Ow! 
What? There's a Minjo in here? Yeah, there's a Minjo right there. So don't listen to him. A visitor! Croffo doesn't get many visitors in his trash can. I'm not surprised. It stinks. I prefer to think of it as an acquired aroma. Perhaps you can help me. I'm facing eviction from my trash can by the health and hygiene department unless I clean the place up. Shall I tell you about the problem? Ye ye sure. It's these filthy germs that live in here. I've been told to get rid of 50 points worth. Okay, I shouldn't have hit yes. Basically, it's the same old, same old song and dance. Red is one, green is two, and blue is three. And we have to kill 50 points worth. I will say that this can be kind of tedious because you lose, uh... Yeah, 52. Okay, I don't have to worry anymore. It's like, you kind of lose traction if you if you try and pirouette too much, but you killed 56 points worth. I get to keep my lovely trash can, and you get to keep this. And he's got a Jiggy. Everything in this universe has a Jiggy, except us. We just have to trade and barter with them until we get... Fancy trying for a new germ best score? No! Now where is it? I need to find the... The one reference that I've been wait, like, waiting forever to show. Where's the milk? That's still sour milk. Oh, it is milk. Is it on here? Yeah, here we go. Missing. Tootie. Last seen in Banjo-Kazooie. Yeah, where did Tootie go? She was kidnapped by Gruntilda. It was the witch, I tell you. The witch. Oh. Anyway, we're done with that. And, actually, I will meet you guys in the next part, where we will, um... Probably go see Humba. Well, no, we got a few more things to do until then. But alright, see you guys in the next part.